Welcome to Finding Purgatory Reacts and today we're looking at the top 10 craziest police chases on the internet. Let's get straight into it. And... Okay, so what really sets this first chase off for most is the fact that not only are the cops chasing down a literal school bus, but its driver is actually a student at the very school from which We the don't bus get this in the UK. From. Airing on A&E's live PD, this juvenile driver was barely old enough to be behind the wheel, let alone handling a 26 passenger bus. Considering he was already bound to be charged, this young driver decided to swerve all this over is the road, crazy. at one point even heading into oncoming traffic. However, rather than colliding with the traffic on the other side of the road, our bus thief decided to go for a uh, different target. We'd have got anything like this in the UK. Yeah, thankfully nobody was seriously injured in this crash, and the kid was apprehended by police shortly afterwards. If this kid ever wanted to steal a car again, let's just hope he looks for a game like GTA for his thrills rather than actually doing it in real life. But anyways, I'm sure GTA is 18, nine. right? As far as police chases go, it's not uncommon to see a biker okay. who isn't really keen on following speed limits enforced on highways. For this driver though, he wanted to do a little more than go fast as he evaded police custody and rather than keeping his eyes on the road and attempting to treat But those police the bikers cops, went kind of wanted to show off a little. What is he doing? Chase, but when he put his feet on the seat, that was more than some could stand. Look at this guy. You're not Look trying to get guy. away, are you? You must Look be mental at, at this point. I mean, I guess if he's going to jail anyway, he might as well make it a ride worth talking about once he gets put behind bars. Crazy part is, the culprit in question actually thought it was strange yeah, that some the tunes on. tried to kick him off his bike during his joyride. Regardless of if he agreed with it or not, the guy was inevitably it caught must have been and off his head. paid the price for his reckless antics. Philip Resendez was arrested for felony evasion it's got a fanny pack, though, look. the wrong way. What do you mean you didn't endanger anybody? You were standing on your bike going 100 miles per hour. At the end of the day, nobody was hurt and the guy... How can reporters in America have that? I know, there's a fe felony inside the car I'm going to do as I'm going to interview him. It was worth the time spent in jail. Number eight. Imagine you're out on a family road trip, you know, RVing across the country. You stop at a place to rest and relax when some crazy lady hops in your RV and, uh... It was a demolition derby. Oh my gosh, look at this. A chunk of the RV was ripped away. To make matters Do you live in America? Could you let me know, does this happen a lot? Or is this just like, you know, crazy one-offs? When one of the dogs does this. Her dog. Oh. Fido out there on He's the staring out of the gaping hole. Having a good old ride. Dog can't believe it. He's had enough. Out no. Oh. Oh my God. I mean, thankfully the pup limps away. But if this woman wasn't already in enough trouble with the police, considering her dog jumped out like that, I'm sure she's the catching fire. The poor dog. As well. She goes on to ram into other vehicles, leaving a trail of destruction before one crash oh makes her my chase come God. to a screeching halt. The only serious injury was to the pup that jumped from Aww. the car, who then had to wear a pair of casts on its front and back legs until making a recovery. If this lady that woman needs to be banned from having animals. Again, I just hope that she decides to keep the pooch far away from any of the action. Number seven. Forever. If you were ever trying to outpace and escape the police, I'd imagine some of us would do just about anything to get away. Whether that be driving along the same highway at high speeds for hours on end, or even doing something as insane as boarding a moving train. I had to stop for this train. We are following this now. The person, person just got, got out and ran. ran. It looks right like somebody else is in the tracks. back of the vehicle too. But again, this person. Do they not realize that they're being tracked by yeah, helicopters? The the day, you've got to they're not going to get away. What's the point? Caught. I mean, really, who here can honestly say that they would chase down a moving train just to board it and then attempt to evade the cops? Like the man just sneaks <laughs> aboard the scrap train and rides it for a while before ditching it to take off on foot. They're in the back seat as well. But again, this person running right along the railroad tracks. Very close there. You almost wonder if he's going to try to jump onto the train right there. Well, while the other two folks in the back of his car had already been apprehended by this point, this guy just kept on running until he was inevitably caught by police later that Let's day. Let's jump on a train that's moving at a speed actions, that you I'm can sure run at. I'll respect the effort by work. this guy trying to escape. The man literally jumped onto a moving train. Number six. If there's one thing we've all done while playing the Grand Theft Auto series, it's easily spinning out and crashing during a police chase. Naturally, the main Often. vehicles following you are, of course, police cruisers. And while some of us just grab another pedestrian's car, the rest of us run straight for Do you play GTA? Dead. If you do, let so, me know. Also, let me know in the comments. Stole, are you looking forward to GTA 6? So if it ever officers comes out. Who are meant to apprehend him. It is like GTA. Jump in the car. Oh, no. This did not happen. Oh, no. 
No, suspect did no. not commandeer the CHP he's car. Somehow he manages to evade the cops and even take off with one of their cruisers, and that's not even the worst of it. To the woman who was on her hands and knees, both leaving yeah, their right. cars. And there's another and there's officer that, that just clueless. He doesn't even know. He doesn't know. Oh, this is... They know know. Know. It's I mean, so you can't bad. Really blame the officer who keeps on going here. Like, how in the world would you ever expect that your peers would let a suspect get away and with one of their own vehicles? Well, I say get away, but the chase only continued. What would they leave the keys in the ignition? The crook was arrested. So while his maneuvers were pretty tactical, they didn't exactly pay off in the end. Number five. The typical signs of a police chase are cars moving rapidly at high speeds, while occasionally causing a bit of havoc and even some destruction yeah, while trying Walker. to evade custody. For this chase, though, we're veering off on a uh, different path. Rather than stepping down on the gas as hard as he could, this driver opted to do the exact opposite. Chase, but this one Can I get a better MPG to that, I guess? Ever. Fort Worth police followed the white Nissan for more than two hours. The suspect Must be on drugs. To escape. Crowds of gawkers gathered on overpass. You ever hear the song Slow Ride? It kind of does indicate to take it easy, but this takes the lyric to a whole new level. This driver even cultivates a crowd waving to those behind the road, acting as if it was his like, own parkway parade. And while this guy lives it up, he's got those police trailing at a similar speed until eventually the driver decides to kick it into high gear. And went the wrong way down an access road to get back on the interstate. I don't this, get it. Enough is enough. A police SWAT car performed a pit Is he on the phone? The back of the it's got to be drugs related. Is he on the phone going, Hi, oh, yeah, I need to get rid of these drugs. What After do I do? After detained by police, it was revealed that the car was chock full of methamphetamine and that the driver was, of course, under the influence. And that probably explains why he eventually tried to make a break for it. Off Number his four. head. So far in this list, we've seen people try to escape the police on trains and RVs and even in other officers' cars. However, one thing we've yet to see and will likely not see for some time is a culprit trying to get away on his longboard. Traffic, clutching the longboard. And then came the move worthy of a movie. If only his mum bought him the longboard. He didn't want to get rid of it. Seconds, the suspect tried to He's off. Away from officers in hot yeah, on hot pursuit. Before all this, the man was being pursued by police in a car he'd previously stolen before crashing into the back of another driver's vehicle. Knowing he'd be caught if he did nothing, he did the first thing that came to his mind and tried to carve his name in the history books by attempting his own version of the Great Escape. With that in mind, though, if That's I were this mental. guy, I probably would have just thrown it away and ran as fast as I could. But do you think again, drugs are that main of cause of this sort there was of no reaction? The long arm of the law. Police were closing in. The same red pickup cut him off and practically pinned it. Whoa! Who's that guy? Next time he decides to try and evade the police, I just hope he brings something a little quicker than a longboard as a backup plan. Oh, Number awesome. three. In most police chases, people start in a car and end up running on foot, but this chase begins on foot as the criminal was originally caught They like a bit of Fast and Furious on clips on this, don't they? But right before he was processed and cuffed, he opted to jump up and take the oh, emergency man. vehicle for a spin. Police say they shot him three times as he reversed and hit two officers in uniform. For almost 90 minutes, Givorowski leads police on a tour of Frankfurt and cop bleeding out in the ambulance and side streets around the boulevard. It takes a uh, special kind of person Swats to on take scene. an ambulance, you know, vehicle typically used for transporting the sick or injured and instead use it as a getaway car. Then again, considering he was going to be charged for assault anyway, it makes his desperate attempt at escape seem <sighs> a little more understandable. But regardless of whatever vehicle he decided to steal, it was bound to need a tow after the chase. For four minutes, he tries to get in front of Givorowski. His persistence pays. He flattens a front tire before spinning out. Finally got the right tire, and he still was going. He was down like 15 miles an hour. Yeah, this tow truck driver is definitely a hero for his actions here, because shortly after he popped the guy's front Good right man, tire, a woman. spike strip finished a job making it easy for the police to get the criminal back in custody. And while the chase only went on for like 20 minutes or so, it definitely would have lasted much longer if it weren't for this truck driver showing... I wish I had little early. snippets on the end here saying, jailed for... Number two. All right, if you can't tell by now, these chases come in all shapes and sizes, but the very last person you'd ever expect to see behind the wheel, well, are little kids. In the case of this seven-year-old, he had his first encounter with the law on a bright Sunday morning. Seven. County Sheriff's patrol car as the deputy followed the boy, unaware of just how young that driver was. It was a wild ride, but the little guy never went it over. It was lucky that the police officer didn't try really to pit him or anything like that. Driving along, it gets a lot easier to see once he pulls up to his family's driveway. <laughs> They'll never find me under the bed. Yeah, if I were to categorize the, the, the boy's skill as a driver. Mom, Dad, the police are outside. And told his dad that the cops were outside without giving him literally <laughs> any context. 
So when the officer went ahead and told the dad what his son had been up to before church, she was just as confused as any of us probably would be in that situation. I mean, in all fairness to the kid, when I was young, I remember always wanting to know how it felt to kind of like jump behind the wheel. I've done that. And while now have you been taught by your parents like that as well? Let me know in the comments. Must have been an exhilarating experience. I mean, fair play to the I kid. Bet. Honestly, it's just impressive that he came out of it uninjured and that he actually. He's driven to drive better than well all the other ones that have been on it so far. Next time, let's just hope he waits until he's at least 16 before taking his folks' car out for a spin. Okay, last one, guys. Coming in at our number one spot, we're taking a look across the pond to a pursuit that happened. If you watch so far, England. please like and subscribe. If you're trying to I really appreciate it. Vehicle of choice would usually be something small and fast, right? Well, for this intoxicated driver, he opted for something with a little more destructive power to go about on his rampage. Oh, this is the UK. It is the UK. I take it back. Everything I've said about the US. We have some numpty in a dump truck. Like I mentioned before, our driver here is under the influence, meaning that he likely has no regard think? for anyone else on the road. With that in mind, you yeah, can just ram a few cop exactly cars. the most careful when trying to avoid the very cops that are chasing him. How do you stop something like that? Other than run out, run out of fuel. Jesus. Several other police cruisers along his trail of carnage. You see what I did there? Okay, kind of cringe. Well, carnage. The driver was inevitably caught by police, but not before he caused plenty How? of damage to all of those police cars who decided How'd to get away. How would you stop something like that? Dump truck destruction. Thankfully, How would you stop it? That was the majority it? of the damage caused by this insane Jesus. chase, and fortunately for everyone involved, no one was seriously injured. Guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, see you then.